I'll be calling you a radical, so breaking news, headline news. Now, where did CNN start? Atlanta, 2021. Simply Atlanta. You think? You think that election, the preacher, John Lewis died in 2020, but Henry Aaron died? Same day that Larry King. Now, I'll tell you, and then we'll get to the gray well catastrophe, getting reports. First off, I mean, so when he did this album cover, yeah, I think it's the greatest album cover in history. And that's saying a lot. You know, the slide out where you can move it in and out. Cultural icons, they come and go, but the radiation stays. Now, who's those two guys? Whoa. It's kind of stuck in there right now, kind of like radiation. Whoa. So, that's at the real building. It's a real building, kids. Not waiting on a lady. I'm just waiting on a friend. That's where that was filmed. Which, I, that's my favorite Rolling Stone song. And then Jagger's so-called girlfriend. Her and I grew up together. Luann. What a fantastic person. Hung herself with the orange scarf. Shakespeare. So is Biden going to be like Trump and Obama? A nuclear puppet? To be or not to be, for that is the question. Oh, curse is spite that I was ever born to set this right. The country and western version of Hamlet. For the new CNN, for the alternative media, the Alex Jones crowd, all these lunatics. I have some chemo for you. I have some chemo for me. I have some COVID for you, and I have some COVID for me. But you must wear yours with a difference. How good was Larry King? His style, fuck. Everybody and anybody wanted to go on his show. He never got into it with anybody. He kind of just let them hang themselves. Now, this is a great story because I'll tell you, rock on, gold dust woman. You better put Larry King's kingdom up for still. Of course he changed his name. They all changed his name. So, Zimmer, Zucker, Brooklyn again. We are family. I want to go back to 1979. Oh boy. So, there was, inher, inherited wealth was pretty well illegal. Oh, you damn no good socialist. Okay. God, don't you love how they freaking indoctrinate the fucking language into the fucking useful idiots? Larry King's wife. Yeah, here. About 100 years younger than her. Got two little kids. She knew how to anchor in. There's one way to bypass Anna, and Utah has Anna Nicole Smith uh, laws here. They have a bloodline cause in Utah, and I think they do in California. And uh, she, <laughs> anchor babies. So she has two anchor babies. And she, who lined him up with her? That's Now, say with this is why she, and I, it's like the Ed Smart situation. I was going crazy on Ed Smart. There was rumors all over that he was gay and bringing these men into the house. You know, he'd go pick them up. You know, who caused the kidnapping of Elizabeth Smart? Ed Smart did. That's unarguable. He's a Fox News contributor. So, Maria Osmond lined her up with Larry King. What? I went to elementary school with Maria and Donnie. My neighbor lives right over by me. Dennis, their uncle. He broke his back the same time I did. Great dude, I love the guy. <laughs> right. But the old man, old man, Osmond, he refused to pay the rent here in Ogden. They fucking moved. They were in a different house every other month. You know, and so, by the way, I like Donnie, you know, and Marie, whoa, I mean, what a trip that chick is. I mean, how many times she been married? Well, I think she's married to the second husband twice over far removed third cousin. I mean, bouts with 
prescription pills. That's what Mormon girls do. So, Larry King's wife with the two children was having an affair with the soccer coach. <laughs> Did she make you cry? Make you break down? Shatter your illusions of love? That's why he left New York. And the day Larry King left fucking CNN is the day CNN was fucking over. He was the master. He was the king. He went home to guard the stock. Rock on, gold dust woman. You bet. Now, here in Utah, now, I can get into this because Jerry Sloan's gold digger. By the way, I love Bobby Sloan. I used to sit with her at the games. I have her ticket from the Jordan's last show. It's got to be worth it. <sighs> I bought it for peanuts because the gold digger just dumped. I went to school with her. Uh, Roddy Dangerfield's gold digger. I went to school with her. That's what Utah girls are taught to do. Mormon girls. Mormon girls. I mean, it's disgusting. It's like my art professor at Weber State, Arthur Adamon, who recently passed. Well, he loved me. He did a lot of stuff for me. He says, well, that art style years, whoa, dude. Where did that come from? Jane Catlin. I mean, all these great professors. Doyle Strong. My art professor's at the nuclear water school. Oh my God, she, I remember telling her. Beautiful young woman. That painting of yours, it's like marrying for money. How to serene. I remember when I says, well, I'm doing a BIS, you know. I'm going to jump ship from the art department and go to the water school of business and get a finance degree from Dr. Cooley. How disgusting, Kevin, the brilliant artist that you are. Nothing more disgusting than just making money. He moved to Southern Utah on cancer. <laughs> Everybody moves to L.A. dies. Oh, Santa Susanna, don't you crap on me. I came to Utah with a load of nuclear waste by sending off rain. For you sending off ears in San Diego. There's a new regime, and Kevin Blanche is in the ear of the governor's office on blocking them, tearing down the fucking Dolly Parton and Brandon to Utah. So, Larry King is dead. CNN started Atlanta. The great Henry Aaron is dead. Now, this is important, too, because I had a conversation, because I'm fighting cancer, as you know. Fighting a lot of health elements, given two months to live on 11, 11, 11. There's no stairway to heaven, Kevin. Freaking, <laughs> it's rock climbing to heaven. I mean, it's a beast. Stand up to this fucking tsunami of American manufactured Jesus. I'm like, is this vax working? This virus is mutating. It's like the cancer in my body. I had de novo. Which it's been documented. Look it up. Look it up. Red Cross. Nobody screens their blood like Red Cross. Nobody. And I know. You know how blood transfusions I've had? I was born a Jonas baby. But I'm talking about post-cancer. That leukemia units use tremendous amount. I mean, my plate that counts got to eight twice. They had to fly in blood. So, is this vaccine working? There's lots of people that are dying post-vax. Is it working? I don't know. Now I'm talking to doctors, and they don't know either. I guess the time will tell on the guinea pigs. I mean, I'm all for fucking getting vaxxed up if it works. I mean, scary, especially if you're older. I mean, we're losing all our beautiful elders. God, Larry King was the greatest. I love that guy. His style was so perfect. But again, a Mormon girl destroyed him. Rock on, gold dust, to the gray wells. So there's lots of reports now, and I'm talking to people, and there's actually some print media out that has, uh, you know, because they're being able to look at them now. they got drones over the top of the pools in Mexico, which, by the way, you got to get them before that, because inside the preserve, they, they won't even let drones in there. The Mexicans protect that peace environment, and, you know, the butterflies are going to sneak, and they threw both butterfly activists, you know, Gomez got thrown into the wishing well. By the way, I was down in Uncle Tom's cabin. You know, two people in the dark. Well, I'm glad. <laughs> I saw what you did. I know who you are. All oh, you fucking mass murderers. Go to the Nuclear Energy Crime Syndicate and the United States Department of Energy and their enablers. You label me, I'll label you. Where's your crown, Trump? I want to go back. 19 so the wells. 
are all skinny and sucked up. So there's reports that over the two-year period, 389. Well, we counted 312 officially, the Post Ignorance Project. Now, I'm right there in 2019 in January. I'm standing up on, you know, you can ask, I have witnesses. Go ask Lisa. I'm saying, she's, what are you doing? I says, I'm on dead well watch. What are you doing? This is the next shooter drop. And this is before this epidemic happened. I says, it's the writing on the wall. It's the next. The gray wells are going to start to go. Remember, play back the tape, Your Honor. Y'all predicted all this, including this virus, from the sea. You think it's a coincidence. None of this is a coincidence. Fucking Mother Nature had it. Mo Mama Earth had it. She fucking had it with you fucking gang rape the ecology and think you're not part of it and think there's no byproduct. Oh, you can wipe out the tide pools. You can wipe out all acutely, acutely. Oh, climate change, we're going to put fucking bo earth water boiling reactors. Boiling water, that doesn't fuck. Boil all the earth's water and water. That makes the earth cooler, not hotter, right? Nuclear waste, nuclear meltdowns. Oh, they're hot, 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 hot. Fuktonium skies, Fuktonium skies, a country of fucking lies, a country of denial, America's great pastime, Henry Aaron. Joe Morgan, Tommy Lasorda, Bob Gibson, Whitey Ford, that La Jolla guy, he isn't from La Jolla, Don Larson, all these greats pass. Huh. Oh, it's just that time. No, it's not their time. The ecology is fucking mother. I said it. I said it. I stand right on there. Thousands. Play back the tape. You're on a thousand. You can deny my work because it's fucking the great American pastime is denial. You know, oh, let's just pretend Kevin Blanche doesn't exist. Let's shadow ban him. Let's information kettle him. I'm the guy that turned the fucking YouTube fucking kettling technique. <laughs> kettle me. I'll kettle you. <laughs> Where's your fucking crown? So... Right after that, all the grays started fucking in earnest. Well, I watched it. I watched the tide pools in, at my feet. I'm there in the tide pools. I'm there while I watched all the fucking birds wash up. You know, the shore birds wash up in that acute fashion. It, I was in Pismo, and I remember people playing volleyball on the devils. I'm like, look at that. They don't give a fuck. I remember a guy telling me when the sea lion seal epidemic crashed in 2013-14, and they're like, oh, there's too many of them. <laughs> I says, well, have that attitude because I think there's too many of you dogma burger eating dogma snuggy fucking morons. I told him right to his face. What he's gonna do? Kick my ass? What are they gonna do? Beat me up? I'm okay. I'm. I tell people right there on the beach when they man, a guy had a gun in his face. The useful idiots. The fucking trolls wound up. I says, oh, you want heavy action, huh? I grew up in Ogden, Utah, the home of John Brown. I could shoot before I could walk. And I ain't going to shoot with no handgun. I'll shoot you with a... I mean, you want to pull a gun on me? I'll take your gun away from you and make you piss your fucking pants. And I've done that before. Fucking cowards. Fucking guns, knives, information, fucking fists. I'm down. I'm down. Whatever you're down for, I'm down for. I'm not afraid of you, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of fucking death. I fear no evil. I fight for her. She fights for me. I was given two months to live at 11, 11. It's like my doctor says, I like all these trolls and these bullies attacking you, Kevin. This was back in when I'm in the bone row trying to viciously. I spent hours on a fucking laptop between going in and out of a coma, between leaking information on the Senate and offering fucking lie, between all this on a laptop fighting off trolls and comment trolls. I mean, they were vicious. They were ruthless, including Chris Busby, including Ani Gondershow. Ani Gondershow lets comment on my video Fucking day one that I put up on March 12th, 2011. These are, oh no, this is a hard one, boy. Well, I'll testify, Your Honor. Now, which hand do I put on the Bible? I'll testify. Just like open the door and let them in. I'll testify. I'll testify on all this. <laughs> I watched this fucking catastrophe in real time. I documented it in real time. I look it through the internet. Now, Monterey Bay has a fucking YouTube site and they're out in the fucking Doc Ricketts fucking giant pool. Named after Doc Ricketts, who the very fucking establishment used to call him the poacher. Now they're fucking, he's God. You know? And the game warden asked the biologist in Monterey Bay, well, you only found one starfish in the best tide pool. Where are the star? Well, 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 it was a virus, a mutating virus, which they call a waste. That's exactly what it is. That's where this started. This started right after Fukushima, the starfish. Wasting disease is a virus. Contagious? 
Well, it's been reported, it has been the whole time, that it's contagious in the shellfish. The sea lions and seals, when they were all washed up dead in 2014 to 15, was verified by Kevin Blanche that 40% of them were, were tested positive for AML leukemia. De nouveau, which is in my body, de nouveau, which is, means presents, it's on the move. It's mutating. That's why the survival rate's so fucking low. Fight it back. Look how I fought it back. Ooh, people are still telling me how to survive cancer. That's a 1% of a 1% of a... My daughter says I'm the biggest miracle in 40 years. Why? Because I fight for her. She fights for we from the sea. Kevin D. PhD. I fucking watched all this catastrophe in real fucking time at my feet. Edie. With their friendship fucking slaves at your feet. Don't come around me. Don't come around me. Because I radiate in the fucking sea. What a fucking hole. Los Angeles. It's a death trap. It's a suicide. The place is a toxic hellhole. Oh, Santa Susana. Multiple meltdowns there. Can Kardashian make a statement? Girls, girls. His little 11-year-old. He went crazy. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to the crew. He fucking fought back. I like what Pity Page says. Well, 11-year-old girl died radically of neuroblastoma. My nephew has a little neuroblastoma. Fucking, you know. I have AML, de nouveau, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma at the exact same time. Death sentence. You know, take your dog out, sniff a little around. <laughs> we know factually that we have an acute collapse in pets post-Fukushima. This started in a fucking, in the starfish first. It, oh, is it contagious? Well, think about the mink. Utah here, mink. Denmark, mink. Plum full in the mink. They're completely mutually exclusive of each other. They have no ties. All the mink farmers here have died of fucking COVID. Is it contagious? Well, obviously. Why do you think we're wearing masks? It started in the starfish in 2012. I'm the guy, and no one would believe me. I walked the whole talk, dying of cancer. What a fucking story. I said it's going to come for the people. You don't think you're part of the... It's going to come for the people. You know, the seals went, the, the anchovies, the sardines, the salmon, in an acute fashion. Not, this was going on for years. No, this is 2012. Starfish. Did it kill them all? Nope. That's why I say that. Great Pacific. My little grandson, I tell him, got you. And think about it. He was born in the month of 2011. I'm at Monterey. I haven't found a fucking big group of starfish, per se, really. I found a few here and there, usually each trip, in decades. We get up that, we drove for 13 hours. 14 hours, you know, and no sleep, and I'm like, come on, boy, let's go, and he's all excited, okay, throws his stuff on, right outside the Borg, right there at Lover's Point, and it's super low tide, I'm like, boom, I mean, you don't have to be a marine biologist, which I have that background, you don't have to be a nuclear physicist, which I have that background, you don't have to be an environmental economist, which I have that background, you have to be a lover of life, of earth, of plants, of animals, of the seals, of the well. Yep, and I'm all that. It's my favorite. He's like, I said, you're a good luck charm. I call them the post-ignorance generation, the post-Fukushima. Born just days after for my pair of 11s. What a story. Hmm. Atlanta. Without Donald J. Trump... And you don't think it makes a difference if it's fifty-one forty-nine cent? Of course, I think. I mean, think about Romney from Utah, who I know. Wow. And you think you're going to defeat him in a fucking Republican primary? You're going to primary him, Trump? He is the face of the Mormon Church. Nobody wields power in this fucking state, and I mean nobody like Mitt Romney. White Horse Prophecy on Balco. So, Larry King is gone. Fuck, I loved his style. Boy, we could neither, neither original CNN. How good was CNN in the fucking day? I see Jay Hackwell, my fucking buddy, fucking obituaries in the paper today, 61. Fucking icon he was. So, I want to go back. I want to go back. Go back to 1979. We are family! When the anti-nuclear movement was giant, all the phony fucking sellout whores fucking 
<laughs> Jackson Brown running on fucking empty. All those fucking sellout whores. Rock on, gold dust woman. You better put your kingdom up for sale. Sister Susie, Auntie Jen, Martin Luther, don't let that motherfucker in. Open the door and let me. I'm going back to the Velvet Underground. See my gypsy. I never left. Stay in